Hello everybody, welcome back to the Mark's Guide. Uh, we are just about to take on 50... Okay, 57 apparently. What's yours is Brian. <laughs> some of these uh, some of these mission names are pretty awesome. Uh, anyways, uh, the rest of these ones here, we're doing a bunch of the ones that are in like this, um, it's kind of like a little circle. And uh, again, I mentioned this actually in the previous video, but it seems to me the weather changes a little bit whenever you activate one of these, and I don't really know the significance to that, if there even is any. Uh, I believe, gosh, maybe that's, maybe that's the other, uh, maybe that's the sequel to this game, but there was a, there was a, a point where weather, weather change had some effect on, on a certain, area. anyways. Uh, all right, so what do we have here? Um, okay, so a couple of uh, Sahagins. And wow, these guys are going to go down crazy fast. All right, so I'm using aggression. That's typically the my go-to paradigm when I'm facing, you know, multiple weak enemies. And that, that went really well. So 11-second battle there. And all right, so we get a a year and a night as our reward. That's all right. That's a, obviously an upgrade item. Uh, anyways, all right, so let's move on. Mission number fifty-eight: the color of sorry, the color, right? Color of many. Anyway, uh, this guy is. Gosh, I want to say the mark is actually in. Uh, is it Mahabara? I think. I think so. We're about to find out. All right. Uh, yeah, looking like looking like Mahabara. All right. Anyways, let's continue on. We'll do a little quick cut here. And uh, all right, so. <clears throat> For this one, uh, you know, if you're having any problems, I would say uh, a Decept Assault goes a long way with this battle. Uh, if you use a Decept Assault and then actually focus on the uh, Humbaba first, uh, the battle is extremely easy. I think he's got a stagger threshold, yeah, 700%. So uh, if you just if you just start out and get him uh, staggered immediately. Uh, you won't have to deal with his more well so he's gonna he's gonna stand up like you know most of these enemy types do once uh, he gets to a certain uh, HP percentage here which should be coming there it is which obviously then means that he uh, he's actually gonna wipe out any debuffs that you've got on him and then he heals all the way up so um, it's actually not a bad idea, though, to put some debuffs on him after, uh, like I did here. And then that is that. I think I may... Uh, I kind of feel like maybe uh, the random instant chain triggered there. I'm not sure, though. Maybe it didn't. But there you have it. There's the five star. The reward, the sp another speed sash. Those ones I really like. I like that accessory. Uh, and then, all right, so next we've got uh, another Zernitra. I absolutely hate these guys. <laughs> uh, they're super annoying. Uh, but this next one, I think, is in Sulia Springs. Uh, my recommendation with these guys, uh, just, just really like all the other Z Zernitras in the game, is uh, to start out with a Deceptisol, just because... That's just gonna help out a ton, and then, like I said, these these guys are just super annoying. So I think um, kind of at this point in the game, especially being that there were only a few marks left, I really started going uh, heavy on uh, uh, on um, shroud usage. So uh, and that and that's again that that's kind of my recommendation too, because uh, you know if you're at this point in the game, there's there's just not much else to do. So you know, if you're if you're thinking you're gonna hang on to them for uh, another reason, 
Uh, I wouldn't. <laughs> I would again just uh, just say use up those shrouds now. So there you have it. There's all the shrouds. <coughs> And uh, obviously, if you're gonna go, if you're gonna use that trout, make sure you target target Zernitra first. Uh, these Serta Raptors. Actually, wow. Okay, so I didn't. I went with. That seems like a horrible idea. Okay, there we go. Oh, can I save it? Yep. All right. So I did save the the stagger, luckily. But that's that's something I would definitely do. I would not worry about the little guys first. Take down the Zernitra as soon as you possibly can. Uh, it is a little annoying because the, um, the Certoraptors or whatever, or Certosaurs, I forget uh, the name of the ones that summon. But anyways, they will summon in, you know, some allies, but I feel like that's, that's uh, the least of your worries. The Zernitra here is the real issue. And that's close to taking them down. And then I, I tried to use Sovereign Fist, but uh, the Stagger Gates had already expired, unfortunately. But that's all right. So he is basically done here. There we go. Boom. All right. Uh, yeah. So these, the Certosaurs are the the ones that get summoned, and then the Certoraptors are the the ones that can actually summon. So like I yeah, I almost took out all the little guys before I actually worked on the Zernitra. Anyways, uh, target time was five minutes. We did it in one. The, the um, Deceptus all really helped out. And then we, what did I get? An ener energy sash? So there's another actually really good reward. <coughs> and all right, so what do we have here? Mark 60, okay. Uh, this one, I believe, is all the way at the top of uh, Tajin's Tower. And I think we are going to be fighting three, I want to say it's the Gelatitan. We'll see here in a minute, but uh, this mark is actually fairly easy. It's kind of crazy how these marks work. Like, uh, you know, 51 Atticus is fairly difficult. And then, you know, you get a, a really good break, I feel like, of, of quite a few marks in a row that are fairly easy. And then uh, the, the final one is actually fairly difficult as well. But uh, anyways, all right, so let's take a cut here. And here we are at the top of uh, Tajin's Tower. And uh, we'll take care of this, this mark up here. <laughs> okay, I guess I'm going to, what am I looking at here? Ah, yes, okay. Just making sure that I had all my information right on these guys. <coughs> so, yeah, okay. Uh, and that, you know, I've actually mentioned this in some of the other uh, guides, but uh, actually knowing uh, all of the information about a, an enemy can help you get your five stars if you're trying to go for those, uh, you know, five star um, ranks. For these if you're trying to go for that the achievement otherwise you know like I said, it's really only the achievement so it's not something that you really have to worry too much about but I use a, a, a uh, Deceptisol <clears throat> and again for the reasons that I've stated earlier uh, and that's just that um, I got to this point in the game and I realized I only had a few marks left and I still had I mean look at I, I don't know what 30 some of, of most of these shrouds and uh, this paradigm worked insanely well. Um, the uh, smart bomb and just getting getting these targets debuffed and then kind of just going to town. Uh, obviously, uh, <laughs> the Deceptus all helped out quite a bit too. So, uh, anyways, let's see what we get here. There's the five star. And all right, another Nar stone. Those are those are pretty useful. There's a, they're actually really expensive too, so it's nice to to get that. All right, next mission is 61 I Juggernaut, and uh, this mark is actually located in uh, Erba. 
Uh, and we've already fought, you know, quite a few of these juggernauts, and there's, to be honest, not much uh, different about this one, if I remember right. So we're about to find out, but... Okay. I guess I didn't want to bother uh, <laughs> cutting down this footage at all. That's kind of weird. Anyways, it's too late now. There's no sense in doing it now. <laughs> all right, here he is. Uh, I think I used. Oh wow. Okay, so I went crazy on this one. I didn't want to. Uh, I didn't want to have to come back here. So you know, I was. I was really making sure I was gonna get a a five star for this guy. Um, just like all the other uh, juggernauts, I would say. Uh, you know, if you if you don't use a Descent Assault right away, I'd say it's not a bad idea to wait until about 150%. Um, or, sorry, uh, get his Stagger Gauge up to about 150, and then debuff him with something like Smart Bomb. Uh, and the reason for that is normally then you'll be able to launch him uh, before he's able to get his Steam Clean ability off. Because if you just start debuffing him right away, he'll Steam Clean and get rid of all of them. Boom! Yeah, I don't know if that was really that great, but whatever. I like Sovereign because it looks cool. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I guess I would say that's that would be my that'd be my recommendation. Uh, I obviously, being that I got him staggered right away, I just went right into uh, after after he was staggered to uh, debuffing and and now the the crushing. <laughs> so he's not gonna last much longer. Uh, but anyways, that is it for this particular guide. Uh, I hope it was helpful, and hope you join me for more marks. Alright, thanks for watching.